Hey out there Tesla owners and fans, my name is Chisholm and I'm going to tell you about uh, the full self-driving uh, update I just got. Um, quick history, I've had a Model S for uh, it's about a month now, three weeks, a month, something like that. Um, it's a 2020 uh, Model S long range, uh, so it's the old vertical, um, the vertical screen um that uh yoke steering wheel that was a deal breaker for me so saved has saved me a bunch of money uh i love this car so uh when i first got it i got tesla insurance so i was using the um the tracking thing to keep the beta safety score driving and of course i mean this car's so fast and amazing that in the first week i was my uh my scores were not very good. I don't know. Uh, I think it was at like my average was at like a 92 or something like that, which I guess relatively is pretty low. So then I was like, well, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, then I kind of treated it like it was a puzzle or a game. I'm like, how can I beat the system? Not beat the system, but it's kind of like, like, uh, doing your best to get your, teacher to to praise you even though you don't like the class um and so started doing better and doing better and then i got it up to a 96 and i'd read online that you can get full self-driving like uh, originally it was you needed like a hundred or a 99 when it first came out and which is really difficult um and then I've I read that they had possibly lowered it. Um, it. From what I could tell, it's not an official announcement, but it was just what people were theorizing, I believe, from the people that were getting it, and that it was down to a 95. Um, so I got to 96. I, I signed up for it, and this was on Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, and today's Sunday. So. I did that, and the first day I got like uh, 99 or something, or that night. And then the next day I went and drove, and it was like nighttime. It was like 1 in the morning. I'm like, I'm just going to drive for a while, put it on cruise control, because I thought maybe that would help, um, you know, just to show that you're using the their auto steer system. And so I'm driving along, going down this road, no traffic, 1 in the morning. It's a four lane road with a big grass median, um, 40 mile an hour speed limit. And um, I just have it set at 40. And there's an area where the curves are kind of tight and um, uh, there's no warning signs on the street. It's not super tight. It doesn't say like, you know, like those signs that say curve 25 miles an hour. It was nothing like that. And as it was going around, all of a sudden the car just started freaking out and beeping and went boop, boop, boop and collision and hard break. And I don't know, it lit up like a Christmas tree. And then it like, and it turned off and I was like, shit. And I thought it like threw me out of the thing, like where you have to stop the car and park it. And I'm like, well, that's gonna, I'll never get it then. But I turned it back on while I was still driving. And I was like, okay, well, I think I had heard that if you, if something goes wrong while you're in auto steer, they don't call it as, it, it doesn't deduct any points because you're not doing anything wrong. So I drive back home and then check my score and it was at 90 for the trip. I was like, what? I was like, this, that's, that's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. Not to mention there wasn't even a car anywhere. Like nothing happened except the car just started freaking out and it penalizes me all these points. So I'm like, well, that sucks and so it dropped my overall score for since of you know within the last month it went from a 96 to a 95 and so then the last two days i had like a 99 and then a 98 yesterday and then at one in the morning i drove for a little bit and got a 99 and then woke up this morning and it was it said you have a software update and boom full self-driving go figure so uh yeah so apparently they're just giving them away my uh i have a theory on that and i think that um 
at the beginning because they were worried about the kinks in the system or just not testing it that they wanted people who were extra extra cautious to be doing it and now that they've had very 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 few accidents on it um and they've upgraded it and made changes and and you know done all the things that the engineers are supposed to do that they're like okay this is even safer now so we can give it to people who you know maybe aren't driving Miss Daisy all the time you know like just normal drivers but they've proven that they they can use um, I it would not surprise me if they hand it out to lower scores as long as you're a person who uses auto steer and doesn't get kicked out you know doesn't have this force disabling things um, that's my guess so not to mention they keep saying or Elon keeps saying or his people and, um, say that they're going to have the full self-driving by the end of the year this year. Now, I know they say a lot of things, but they seem to be pretty emphatic on this one. And if that's the case, that means it's getting close to, I mean, there's only six months left. So it's getting pretty close to finalizing this as an option that, that um, the, whatchamacallit, whatever the governing body of driving is, I'm, I can't remember. Um, uh, that they would pass it, the FAA, what is it? Ah, whatever. Um, that they would, uh, pass it and allow it and deem it safe for the general public. Um, and so if that's the case, then again, if they're going to give it to anyone who has the full self driving package, then they got to start lowering it down the standards of who they give it to so anyway if you if you've been worrying about your safety score being too low and you haven't thought about applying for it um go ahead and give it a shot because it seems like they're just handing them out like hotcakes now and uh it is pretty cool i'm going to walk you through what i just found and this is what you're about to watch is me sitting in the car for the first time i don't even know how to turn it on anything so here you go. Enjoy. So here it is. Got in the car, turned it on, and full self-driving. Um, let's see. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that go through all these in detail. I'm just going to kind of fly through it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Take my time and read and find out what I'm doing before I just start cruising around on the streets. You know. But uh, anyway... Uh, Let's see. For maximum safety, blah, 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 blah. Disengagement. Oh, if you don't have your hands on the wheel, they're going to kick you out of the program. Uh, uh, release notes. Upgrade. Upgraded decision making framework for unprotected left turns. I don't know what unprotected left turn. I keep hearing that term and I haven't looked. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, I don't know if that means you're crossing instead of like crossing over a divided median, like a big grass median. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Improve creeping for visibility or accurate lane geometry. Uh, reduced instances of attempting uncomfortable turns through better integration with object future predictions during lane selection. Well, that sounds good. I don't like uncomfortable turns. Um, using the uh, using the um, auto, autopilot um, that's currently on there, um, I notice that the car sometimes brakes faster or takes longer to brake at a stop, like when the car in front of me stopped at a red light. I would instinctively start slowing down before the car does. The car just kind of keeps going. I'm like, oh crap, is this gonna, is it, is it working? And all of a sudden it just comes in and it ends up being perfect, but it's just a couple seconds before I instinctively do it. Um, but uh, I've learned to get used to it now. I have no issues with with any of the Odyssey so far in autopilot. So, 
Um, I have a feeling this is not going to throw me too much for a loop. I think most of the driving I'm going to do is going to be at nighttime first when there's not much traffic on the road. Um, when I say night, I mean like midnight, one in the morning. Um, just to get my feet wet and feel comfortable. It's just to feel the sensation of it and how it drives, how it takes corners and so that I can get used to that feeling before I have to worry about other cars being in the picture because then I'll start to freak out and instinctively, you know, take over. But anyway, all right to it. Um, let's see. You guys can always pause the video if you want to read all this stuff. Uh, press the video record button on the top bar UI to share your feedback. When pressed, your vehicle's external cameras will share a short, then associated autopilot snapshot with the Tesla engineering team to help make improvements. You will not be able to view the clip. Huh. Um. No, that's pretty cool. So if something goes wrong, I guess, you just hit that and then it'll probably back record, you know, at the last few minutes. And, uh, not back record, but, but, you know what I'm saying. This is going to be so cool. I've seen videos of how detailed this thing is. Uh, it's an early limited access beta that must be used with additional content. It may do the wrong thing at the worst time, so you must always keep your hands on the wheel. <laughs> do not be complacent. When it's enabled, your vehicle will make lane changes off highway. Select forks to follow your navigation route. Navigate around other vehicles and objects and make left and right turns. Um, use it only if you're paying constant attention to the road. Be prepared to act immediately. Uh, your vehicle is running on Tesla Vision! Exclamation point. Note that Tesla Vision is also includes some temporary limitations. Follow distance is limited to 2 to 7. And autopilot top speed is 85. Driving visualization... Autopilot's maximum speed has been increased from 80 to 85. Um, I could have sworn just the other night that I saw that it went to 90. Maybe it only went up to 85. I was just testing it. Uh, there's an interstate here in uh, south of Denver that gets up to 75 as a speed limit. So I was seeing how fast it would go. Um, Additional bark customization. Oh, this is just other parts of the update. I thought I already had that. Yeah, I already had that. Charging time. Charging time estimation. Estimated charging times are now more accurate by taking into account current battery pack temperature when a vehicle is connected to a supercharger or a third-party fast charger. Additional mobile app controls. Dog mode and camp mode can now be enabled from the Tesla app. Okay. Uh, but that's where we were. Release notes. Oh, that's just where I was. Let's see. Oh, we already did all this. Oh, that was the whole thing. Okay. Well, there you have it. Get out of here. Go away. Well. Oh, there we go. All right. Well. Now. All right, now let's see what this looks like. So, um, navigate. Postal Service. And 
Now turn left onto South Ivy Way. So I guess I would have to actually put it... All right, now... So I'm going to hit the little stalk like I'm... Uh, all right. But how do I? Well, now your guess is as good as mine as to how to activate this thing. Let's see. Autopilot. Car. Oh, full self driving beta. Car must be in park to enable. Full self driving beta. Okay, by enabling, I consent, yep, blah, blah, blah. My profile. Okay, so we have the option to chill, medium follow distance, have a larger follow distance, and perform fewer speed lane changes, assertive. A smaller follow distance, perform more frequent speed lane changes, and will not exit passing lanes. What? What does that mean? Uh, now, I wonder if traffic, see this has traffic light and stop sign control. I did, I tried that before and it was kind of annoying because every time you came up to a green light, you had to hit the accelerator or hit the gear stalk to um, not the gear stock, but the but the cruise control stock to um, authorize it to go through the green light. Otherwise, it would slow down and I guess maybe come to a stop. I never tested it, but it was kind of annoying. I mean, it was great when you came to a red light because it would just come to a stop. Or the same thing with the stop sign. But to go through it, you had to do it. It was just too much. So I don't know if I mean I'm assuming I don't need to turn this on. That's only if I'm just using regular not using full self-driving um, expanded full self-driving widens autopilot widens autopilot visualization area when full self-driving hmm. uh, well I don't know let's just give this a shot see what happens all right. Now I'm gonna hit this thing again. Again, I have no idea what to do. Oh, I'm not in drive. Oh, look at that. That used to not be there before. Whoa. I guess I better put my seatbelt on. Well. Uh, I wish I knew an address of somewhere in the neighborhood. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, I picked a address that's in the neighborhood, so I don't have to go on the major streets. Um, I thought that this was part of self-driving but I think that's just the way the new interface looks. Um, and so now it's telling me all of this, but, hmm. And now if I hit the, oh, I just did it, engaged it. And we're going quickly. <laughs> Not really that quickly, 23 miles an hour. Holy shit, this is weird. Feet, turn left onto South Jersey Way. Oh my god, this is Alright, I got my hand on the wheel. Wow, it came pretty close to that it 
Now turn left onto South Jersey Way. Ooh. Dude, this is so trippy. Now turn right onto East Kettle Avenue. Whoa. I'm using this toggle of the temperature to uh, let it know I'm taking... Jesus Christ, I can't even watch. <laughs> it felt like he was just going to go right into that car, but he didn't. Now turn left onto East Long Circle North. Holy shit, dude. So I do this to toggle because I don't want to start tugging on the wheel and have it... Um... Oh, gosh. See, he came pretty close to that truck, but he didn't miss it. Maybe, you know, he's doing the right thing, and I would have been, like, all the way over on the left-hand side of the street... Holy shit. Yeah, this is going to take some getting used to and a lot of trust stuff. But you know... Feet, turn left onto East Long Avenue. I was talking to my better half about this. Um, you know, when the few times that, that the self-driving has an accident, it makes the news and they're like, oh, it's horrible, it's going to kill people. But percent they have like something like hundreds of millions of miles dri driven turn left um, onto East Long in California Avenue. over the years in this with uh, Tesla workers and stuff, not like in the public. Um, now turn and right on to South Monaco Street. And the statistics of accidents are far less than a human. It just makes, just when a small one hits, it's kind of like when an airplane crash happens, you know, and people that don't like flying are like, oh my God, airplanes. But, you know, it's like, you don't, do you realize how many airplanes fly every single day, all the time, like now that are constantly right being flown? And Avenue. they're there are no accidents so it's the same thing with this oh he just kind of figured out that car like he went to turn and then he kind of wow so statistically they say that this will be safer than a human being In 500 doing feet, it turn left onto south you just take away. human error you know that pilots and airplanes these days do very little of the flying it's now they're turn just there in case it, they're, they're there like I am in this right now just to be here in case something goes wrong wow I will say though now it's your destination is on the right and here we are Woo. all right thank you self-driving Okay, I'm going to switch it around, give my input. Oh, well that was <laughs> fun, exhilarating. Um, I will say that I don't know if it's because I was looking at the phone and the street and the computer screen and, and the road, like, bouncing my eyes around. Um, but I feel a little queasy, not from being nervous, but... Um, kind of like that feeling you get when you're in the back seat and someone else is driving and they're driving kind of not smoothly. I mean, it was smooth, but it, it was just like, it's kind of quick acceleration and then quick deceleration and then just little movements like when it, when it goes to avoid something and it kind of goes, and it's just, you know, it's, it's like being not on a roller coaster, more like a slow moving tilt a whirl. Um, and I'd heard that, uh, that it's, that's a little hard to get used to and that like when you use the full self-driving and the passengers in the car really feel, um, queasy, not extremely, I, I'm not, it's not horrible, obviously, or they, I don't know. That's my only take on it. Um, negative, uh, it did a great job. It did what it was supposed to do. I'd be nervous as hell. The auto steer seems much smoother, but that's because it's not making turns, I guess. All it's doing is just going and following the lines. This one is calculating so many things and making so many little constant adjustments the whole time. But it is cool. I don't know how often I use it. I like driving. I love driving, especially this car because it drives so amazing. So... Um, I could see myself using it on like a road trip for sure and getting on the highway and just 
putting it on and resting my hand on the wheel and uh you know just not having to i mean you're still supposed to pay attention but i don't know it's cool it's the future that's for sure someday you'll call an uber and the uh, car will pick you up and there'll be no driver in it i don't know how far off that'll be but it'll happen at some point i think maybe but anyway good job tesla